So with uh, 40 years of experience you know, at managing emergencies, um, we've clearly become very competent at being able to rapidly roll out an emergency response you know, uh, in, in many different types of settings. And we have a very, very good system built up over years of logistics support and backup. Uh, and also a large pool of uh, experienced MSF uh, staff that we can send an alert to and mobilize in a very, very short space of time in order to be able to start rapidly scaling up a, an emergency response to a large-scale natural disaster. We have to recognize that there are disasters that take on the scale of, as we saw in 2010, the earthquake of Haiti, or as we also saw in 2010, one of the most devastating natural disasters, the flooding in Pakistan, which displaced millions and millions of people. Now, if we take the example of Haiti, I was responsible for uh, ensuring that we had an emergency preparedness plan. And that plan covered things like, you know, uh, outbreaks of conflict and therefore small displacements. But it also covered and, and, and recognized that one of the biggest risks we faced was hurricanes and floods. And so a large focus of our emergency preparedness plan was around the contingency of managing large-scale flooding. So we should always know ahead of time uh, what are the likely scenarios that might affect uh, a country where we're working in terms of natural disaster, and what do we need to do to ensure that we're prepared to address that. So you find yourself dealing on, on, in, in medical terms, trying to address the trauma, the mental trauma that's affected the population, trying to address their shelter, their water and their food needs. And then on top of that, as as time progresses over a period of weeks, depending on the vulnerability and the conditions that they're living in, the environment becomes ripe for a potential outbreak of infectious disease. The time span around responding to a natural disaster can also be quite long. Although the emergency phase may be relatively short, some of the impacts and consequences on the infrastructure can be quite long term. Now, before the earthquake in Haiti that's become so famous in 2010, Two years before that, we managed in one year two devastating hurricanes and two tropical storms. And several months on, in the example of Gonaive, where we basically uh, rented a warehouse and turned it into a hospital, uh, that warehouse in that hospital was still the only health facility for that population months and months later. So it tends to be natural disasters that are on a mega scale, a very large scale, like the tsunami, like the flooding in Pakistan, like the uh, earthquake in Haiti, where you'll see uh, Médecins Sans Frontières across the movement of Médecins Sans Frontières actually scale up some of its largest responses. And as we saw, the response to the Haiti earthquake was actually the, the largest scale response I think we've ever mounted in the history of Médecins Sans Frontières.